Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Stoneblock. In the last episode, we were working on this big old thing. Uh, so this is basically our sifting setup. Um, we're going to get to uh, running this eventually. As of right now, we're not going to worry about it too much, to be honest. Um, we're going to kind of ignore it for the time being. Uh, silly, I know. But, I really hate these Evolve Endermen. Uh, but, we are going to start doing something a little bit different today. Uh, something that I want to get into, and I actually want to see, uh, is there a quest for it? Aha, there is. So we're going to make the crafter. Um, we're going to start working on auto-crafting in this guy, the refined storage. And uh, one thing that I want to quickly do, I'm going to get some sticks, we're going to get some stone, and we're going to make a new axe, because this guy is almost broken. Um, like, I don't even know if there's anything I can use it on. Uh, it has no durability. So you know what, let's, let's break this, just to break it. Uh, and of course... Of course, I put it back where I don't want it. Cool. So that looks better. Did I lose the blueprint? I don't think... Eh, who cares? Uh, blueprints are easy enough to get. So uh, I want to just make a new... Let's see... Stencil table. Uh, we don't have any stencils. Alright, let's grab some wood... Um, we are currently making jungle trees because of cocoa beans. And we should be able to do something along the lines of this. Blank patterns. I want an axe head, a hatchet head basically. Pattern chest, part builder. Uh, we're going to make stone. Uh, and then what else do we need? We need a tool rod and binding. So we're just going to use wood for the rest of it. And that should be fine. Cool. So there is a stone hatchet. So um, now that we have a halfway decent, uh, halfway decent, like, uh, axe, uh, we should be good to go. So what we're going to be doing today, like I said, is we're going to start working towards getting a crafter. Now before we do anything like that, I want to go ahead and make a small storage crate. And the reason being is because of downstairs. So our mob farm is doing a lot of work and it's kind of full. In fact, it is full. Um, so we're going to grab basically everything out of here that isn't uh, into the that doesn't go into the system and it is going to be loud for a little bit apologies but uh, this should make things a little bit easier we're going to take the Interman trophy put it there and uh, we'll deal with all of this stuff later but for now uh, it, it's it's gonna be fine. So, um, yeah, we just need to grab all of this armor out, and a lot of this stuff we might repair and start like dealing with, um, melting it down, grinding it up, whatever we can do with it to get other things, basically. But um, then again, we might not. I haven't really decided yet. We might just trash it all. Because that is a possibility as well. But uh, this is something I want to do just real quick to actually just take all of these and all of these that we can. And just try to fill up everything. Because this is completely and utterly a mess. Uh, so... Take some of this essence. And we're just going to try to put everything through here. Wow, there is so much stuff on the ground. Um, 
you haven't been able to tell, I haven't done this in a while. So, yeah, there's... There's issues. Um, but... It's fine. So, yeah. I, there's not much to say about this. Um... Hopefully it cleans up a little bit eventually. Uh, we'll come check this after a bit. So let's just get one more full stack of armor and weapons and tools. And like I said, um, I'll probably end up melting down a lot of that stuff. Probably anyways. Um, we also got an Enderman trophy, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I want to make a, star a small storage crate. Now we could make bigger ones. Um, we can also make upgrades to those uh, and make the large storage crates which are huge um, but that's something that we'll worry about later also what is that void crystals okay that's not terrible uh, so yeah that's pretty easy actually so let's get into what I want to work on today which is the crafter so to make the crafter we're gonna need a lot of processors and I also want to see can we make these the alloy smelter um, from the simple one so we have the simple alloy smelter we're gonna eventually want the enhanced one so we can't upgrade it okay uh, so we can upgrade them that is good to know so for right now we're just gonna break these guys remove them and uh, honestly I'm gonna keep them in my inventory for right now we're still making uh, steel seeds. I got a bunch of steel from earlier, so that's fine. And there's a lot of there's a lot of work to be done. So first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make a crafter. Um, now that's gonna require some cores, basic processors, and whatnot. So let's just start working on this. So the construction core we're gonna need two basic processors. So one. And of course, we're out of that stuff. Uh, let's get two sets of that. Uh, crafter, there we go. And two. And go ahead and get those cooking. And eventually, we're going to have a room set up for all of refined storage. It's not going to be down here. It's probably going to be upstairs. I haven't decided where I want everything yet. Uh, it's something that's going to take a little bit of time. We need two advanced processors. So one, do we seriously not have that many diamonds? Ooh, I didn't think that would be, okay, Never mind. that's not a problem. Okay. So there is the second advanced processor. Uh, so those guys can go back in there. We're gonna turn one into a construction core, one into a deconstruction core, and then we're gonna need a machine chassis, casing, whatever. And then these guys. And there is our first crafter. Now that is a quest. We can go ahead and claim it. And in order to really do anything with that, so let's go ahead and open loot chest. What we get? Wood and stone. Okay. Um, so we have a crafter. Now we need to make a pattern grid. So we're going to need another grid, another advanced processor. So let's get one of those, um, two of these, and then two of the iron version. So let's grab some iron. We're actually running low on iron. Wow. We need to smell all of this stuff up. Uh, and then we're going to need a couple of these guys, which is going to require some glass. So we don't have much sand. So I guess let's take a stack of dirt. Actually, what am I doing? We should have, do we have sand? No, we don't have sand chickens in this version, in this mod pack. Uh, I'm thinking of Sky Factory, where I have a ton of sand because of sand chickens. So let's just kind of go through this and get as many sand as we can. There we go. Uh, and we'll have to cook up some of this as well. So let's cook up 18. 
put the rest of the sand in here for now. Um, and that'll take a second to do its thing, but that'll be fine. So we put this stuff away. Um, and what we're going to be doing is once we have all this stuff, uh, we can set up auto crafting, which is kind of the idea. Uh, so there's that and we'll start getting this guy going. All right. So pattern grid, we need another one of these guys. Uh, we are very quickly running out of stuff. We're going to need a destruction core and a construction core. And then we should be able to make the grid once we have some glass. And then we just need to get the patterns. I'd like to make a couple of these. So we're going to need more quartz enriched iron. Um, Oh, that is going to be a pain. Um, we don't have any iron whatsoever. That is... Well, that is not good. Uh, but, you know what? Let's, let's do something real quick. Quartz. Enriched. Iron. We can make seeds. Uh, and that would be kind of ideal. Um, I want to make sure that we don't have... I know we did a little bit of work with chickens last time as well. I love chickens, by the way. The, the These things are like the best thing ever for me. Um, we just have a lot of quartz, which is great, but not what we need right now. So, uh, let's, can we use dust to get iron? No. All right. Um, so I guess we're going to hammer down some. You know what? We probably have some iron down here. Uh, do we have a little bit? We do. We have half a stack. Okay. Never mind. Just vein mine all this. And dump this stuff back in there. Okay. So we're going to make two seeds. Um... So let's just type out iron seeds, and there's like three different, or four different iron seeds. Conductive, pulsating, quartz enriched, and iron. So we're going to need three intermediate crafts, uh, orange crafting seeds. So let's go grab a couple of stacks of that stuff that does the thing. That's amazing. Uh, Infernium. There we go. That's what it's called. I knew that. Uh, how's this doing, by the way? Also, can we just do that? Oh, much better. Let's grab, like, six stacks. That should be plenty. And then what we can start working on is running around in circles. Um, so let's just try to finish this guy up. We'll just do something like so. Okay, so that crystal is gone. We have the Master Infusion Crystal, so that's really all that we need. Okay, so we're going to need uh, some seeds. Uh, how do I do this again? We need seeds and Prosperity Shards, so that might be the issue. How much... I feel like we have some prosperity shards in here, which we do. We have plenty of seeds, so let's get two of those. I said two of those. I accidentally put those away. Um, I want four quartz enriched iron, and where did I put the... I literally just had some iron. Where did I put it? Um, did I put it in here on accident? No. What the heck? What did I do? I'm going insane. Um, it's not in my inventory.
not in here. There's two of those. Here, have the rest of the glass. Um, oh, I know where it's at. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I accidentally put it back in here. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so we're gonna need a little bit of quartz um, to make the quartz enriched iron. Something like that, and that'll be fine. Uh, and here's where things get fun. Uh, and this is why I made the garden closures. Uh, so we have two base crafting seeds. Now both of these are tier three, yes. So tier one, tier two, And then tier three, quartz enriched, and just normal iron. Perfect. So what we can do now is come over here, take the steel seeds out, put the quartz enriched. We'll put the steel seed essence in there for right now, and we just wait. So, uh, eventually, is there a clipboard or something in this mod, uh, mod pack, I should say? Clipboard. Um. Doesn't look like it. Um, is there something else? I guess we could just use books. Um. There, there's got to be something. It's we have a blight energistics. We have chisel. Um, Steve's carts, Natura. I don't think we have like bibliocraft or anything like that, so we can't really make many things. Yeah, we have chisel. Natura, yeah, it doesn't look like Book of the Alchemist. That's something that's probably a little bit more powerful than I want. Um, is there like a checklist? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if random things had something, uh, but I don't know. Uh, so basically what I'm looking for is just something to write down in game all the different things we need but I guess I'll just have to do that in like actual real life um, and uh, room pattern item filter entity filter these are just filters okay internal block do not use okay um, so yeah, I guess we'll just have to go with uh, real world pen and paper type stuff. Um, not a problem, to be honest. And yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it. So we can now make iron and quartz enriched iron pretty easily, uh, which is awesome. Uh, that's really nice and really useful. Put that stuff away. And we can start working on getting everything else we need. So we need the pattern grid. We need a couple of patterns. Let's get like three. And then there is the pattern grid. So we just plug this guy in. And if we get patterns, we can start teaching the system how to make things. So. Um, I think the first thing to, to teach the system how to do is to automatically make more of these guys. So there we go. There is our first pattern. And for now, we're just going to put this right here. Um, put another pattern in there. And what else can we teach it how to make? Uh, advanced processor cores. So those. So we get two of those, and now we can tell the system how to make advanced processor cores. Now we're going to need two of those, and we'll cook those up. We'll be able to automatically cook things up um, with the crafters eventually. 
Uh, that requires another thing. I believe the crafter manager allows you to see everything, which is going to be super important as well. Um, we're also going to want to teach the system how to make uh, the basic processors. But we're going to need more patterns first, which means we need more quartz enriched iron, which we're almost there. So, yeah, basically, um, once we teach the system how to make crafters, we can then go from there, tell it to make other things and whatnot, and eventually we'll be good to go on a lot of different things. Um, we have so many ender pearls that it's kind of ridiculous. So I don't think we're ever going to run out of power uh, with this ender generator. And yeah, so we'll have to set up this guy uh, later. Uh, should not be too much of a problem. But there is some more quartz and rich iron. Um, I think we should also teach it how to make patterns. But there's that. Let's go ahead and teach it how to make patterns. And those both go in there. Now if we get some sand, oops, uh, how do I remove those? Um, okay, there we go. You can bookmark stuff, which is really cool. Uh, that is a really neat feature that, honestly, I, I think is amazing. So you don't have to keep everything up, and I always forget about that. So um, I can just hit like a on that and now it will stay over here um, and we can look at it anytime we want so uh, that's something that's really nice so um, let's go ahead and make two basic processors and then we'll cook those up uh, we can also tell the system to make two more patterns and it's missing Quartz and rich iron. Of course it is. Unfortunately, we can't do much about that right now. Uh, so let's grab the iron seeds. And we'll put those away over here. And eventually we'll get more seeds. Um, all the ones we'd want and whatnot. But uh, that'll take some time. And we'll, well, it's just going to take some time, to be honest. So there is the basic processors, quartz enriched iron. We should be able to make more of that now. So let's tell it to make three more patterns. We're missing three glass. Well, here you go. Uh, so pattern three. And what I want to do, actually, is on this pattern grid, I want to display only craftable so that we can see exactly what we have craftable. Um, and so we can teach it the construction core, uh, the destruction core, and then the actual crafter itself. And we can put all this stuff in there. And this is going to run out of room fairly quickly. Well, that's fine. We're missing... We're missing 10 enriched... Quartz enriched iron. So, anyways, that is basically ready to go. We can start making crafters, which is really nice. Um, and... We just need to get a lot of stuff. So... Let's open a bunch of legendary loot bags. Um, because why not? Let's grab a chess. And let's just open a bunch of these guys. See what we get, if anything good. And I mean, we have them, so why not? Uh, that is a lot of stuff. And we're not getting auto refilled, which is annoying but also I kind of like that we're not so I'm not even looking there we go what do we get we got some mana steel a lot of diamond stuff which by the way how can we turn this diamond stuff into actual diamonds we can use a crusher 
Pulverizer will give us a little bit. And that's it. So Crusher is a little bit better, but the Pulverizer will work. So what we can do is, well, um, we should be able to just throw stuff in there. And if it had power, which we're going to need a flux point, we're going to need to, we need to make this a little bit better. That would work just fine. So what else we get? We got some growth crystals, golden apples, lots of stuff. Okay. Draconium, man manulin, diamond horse armor, which we can crush to get a couple of diamonds right away. We can put all that stuff away. So now we can do this. We can get another crafter. Oh, it's still missing two. That's a shame. We can get all this glass. And like I said, we can eventually, we'll be able to teach the system how to do all of this stuff pretty easily, pretty quickly. And it'll be great. So, uh, let's see if there's anything nice and easy and quick that we can do uh, before calling the episode. So, we did that. Um, we could start making the storage disk. I don't really want to do that. Um, there is the wireless stuff that we could do. Um, but let's see how bad the iron storage crate is to craft. Iron storage. Um, requires a shulker box. Okay. So... I've... I'll be honest, I've never actually made a shulker box before. But it requires shulkers, so we'll have to go to the inn for that or figure out another way. Okay, fair enough. Um, what else we have? Black hole unit. Eh, I think in there things are probably not going to be great. Um, I don't really want to try to make the tier 6 crafting seeds, but we could. Let's take a look. Crafting seeds, tier 6 and tier 5. So what is the tier 6 used for? Nether stars. Okay. So we'll need a crux, which is kind of an annoying, but... Uh, and then blocks of insanium. Wow. That is expensive. Awaken draconium. That would also be really nice to have requires a dragon heart and awakened draconium anyways um, dragon eggs so that's going to require dragon scales drops from inner dragons okay that's not too terrible so those are really good that we're only going to ever need three of those um, tier five is used for diamonds emeralds wither skeletons uranium platinum a lot of good stuff as well. Okay. Um, let's see if we can't do that. So we're going to take... We have four... Uh, four prosperity shards. And let's just try to make the highest tier seeds we can. And see if we can get close. If not, all the way there. So... Base crafting seats turns into tier one. And let's go ahead and as we go up, because I believe, can't we turn these back? Yes. Uh, since we can turn them back into the prior, like, tier, um, it's not too much of a concern to basically convert everything ever up. Uh, so that is good. By the way, um, we make the oh uh, uh, the infernium seeds. So I believe these. How do we get the infernium seeds? Um, recipe. Seed processor. So infernium seeds are like so, and then we can use those to upgrade into tier five, tier six, and then that would give us a lot more infernium. Uh, something we can do later. But definitely is going to be worth it at some point. 
Uh, so we're just gonna continue doing this. We're gonna have all but like one stack. Okay. Cool, so we'll put these guys down like so. Bounce the grid. Get our tier two. Enter medium. Same thing, bounce the grid. Tier three. Supremium. Bounce a grid, and that's probably going to be where we stop. So tier four, and yeah. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, let's get the right superium and supremium. Okay, so that is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Do we have any infernium seeds or an infernium essence in here? We have all of one. So. I think that's going to be um, good enough to stop for today. Um, we'll have to wait on that. There's also furnaces that we can do that get faster and faster as you go. Uh, power generation, there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, and otherwise, we just need to like go to the end and get some stuff there. Um, and then crafting the end cake is, is going to be a fun thing to do. Uh, in fact, can we... How bad is the end cake to make? It does require some end crystals, which requires nether stars. Okay, fair enough. Um, so what are we gonna do? Well, next episode, we are going to go ahead and uh, continue working on the base, uh, getting the crafting up and running. Uh, might work on finishing this guy up so we can start getting a good supply of resources in. And I think that's kind of the, the major thing. We need to get resources in and set up power to be a little bit more automatic. So that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.